I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Fenextra TV. Kindly calling into our virtual studio now to talk about a very exciting announcement is John Wise from Invest Cloud. So welcome back, John. It's good to have you on again. Hello, it's great to see you. It's been about a year in COVID times, pretty harsh, but really pleased to see you, mate. I know, I'm sorry it couldn't be face to face this time in the studio, but it's good to have you on virtually. And I understand you've been working very hard, very busy since we last spoke and hit a pretty big landmark in the life of a fintech, haven't you? So what have you been up to? Oh, yeah. Well, we have been busy and uh, uh, the, the event of digital has just escalated further. And this year um, we achieved over 150 million of bookings. So we're, we're very, very happy with that as a business. Um, also in, in such terrible times as well. Um, but we also achieved a major event, which is um, we've uh, just recently been valued at over a billion dollars, um, which is a significant number. Uh, evidently, it's very rare, slim chances in 10 years to get to a billion dollar valuation. So, you know, I'm, I'm delighted with starting in a garage in California to build a billion dollars and bringing all of our staff with us who've done an amazing job and a big thanks to all the clients that have been amazing with uh, uh, using our and trusting in our digital platform to not be the same as everyone else okay. and uh, but one platform so I'm very very happy. Well John congratulations you brought those ideas to fruition and now I want to hear a bit more about uh, these new investors you've had on board so tell us a bit more about them. Yeah, so basically it's Motif and a company called Clear Lake. Motif um, is actually headed up by a friend of mine called Rob Haver. Rob Haver is also a serial entrepreneur like myself, and he was one of the he was the founder of Capco. Um, so delighted to Rob to sort of be that interested that he was willing to come on board and invest in Invest Cloud. Likewise, Clear Lake being just down the road in Santa Monica, they're a very, very prestigious name in our industry and uh, we're delighted to have them on board. As are, there's a few other um, uh, client shareholders who have come on board. City has decided to invest at this time, which is super excited, excited about that. And also a number of our existing, actually all of our existing client shareholders have rolled over with, with the management. Uh, so it's, it's a good good set of investors now. And the, I'd like to say thanks to the other investors who left FTV, big call out to them. You know, Richard Garnham and the team, plus um, JP Whelan have been in the early days. So they're obviously very happy um, with a billion dollar valuation. It doesn't happen every day. Exactly. So not just a financing deal then, you've got the mergers and acquisitions in there as well. Um, so I want to take a step back then and look at where InvestCloud came from. It built its reputation on uh, in the wealth advisor space and for outstanding digital experiences, right? So is that uh, the focus still today and what's the vision now? Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, the focus is obviously to remain with the distribution side and keep them unique. And we have great advisor platforms in North America and in, in Europe and also in, in Asia these days. So it's very much to keep with that business. We are massively differentiated because we built this AI technology called PWP. So that's really a game changer. In the middle, we've got the digital warehouse, which is where we hold all the assets, which is absolutely critical to have this securely held. With that said, the, um, this deal with Motive also brings two assets in. The first one is Tegra 118, which is run by Cheryl. And Cheryl will, is known well for what, what is known as APL. And APL basically connects the manufacturers, which is the sponsors and asset managers, to the distributors, which are wealth managers, advisors, broker dealers. And this is, this is big business. This is uh, APL today has about 85% of the market, of the SMA market. So it's absolutely huge. And it's trillions of dollars. Combining those trillions with our trillions, we end up with roughly about four trillion of assets on our platform. Now, in addition, which is big, so this is what we call the financial supermarket, and I'll come to that in a second. But the other thing we get is also um, a company called Finantex, which is very strong in private banking in Europe and Asia. And again, this is a distribution channel. So what we're doing, our distribution channel, plus the global distribution channel, plus the manufacturing, it is like Amazon for, for finance but it's brand labeled using the brand of our clients. So whether you're City or Ameriprise, it's your brand, you look like this, it's unique to you, 
the user experience is your experience. However, you're leveraging the same platform, which is unique. Right, so you've already helped me out there. I want to talk about uh, this financial market you speak of. Can you run us through um, uh, and tell our audience what that means and also the impact it's going to be having on the global market and also those big players in the ecosystem? What does it mean for them? So if you're a manufacturer or asset management, the, the thing that concerns you most these days is distribution and actually creating a digital pathway to distributors is key for the industry. And what InvestCloud does in one place, you connect to us and then all of a sudden you get access to all of these channels internationally. But also from a distributor's point of view, you connect to us and then you get access to all these manufacturers. From a distribution point of view, it actually is still you, you're on brand. So it's not like Amazon, when you log on to Amazon, Amazon is basically disintermediates people. In our model, we aren't disintermediate, it's you and the brand and the benefits, but you get access to all these other people and it's a shared global supermarket, a global financial supermarket. Well, as you say, John, this is huge news and really highlights Invest Cloud's fairly audacious vision. So I'm sure people will be really eager to hear what's next in the story. So can you tell us what does the roadmap look like once the news is out? Well, the immediate, the immediate vision here domestically in the United States of America is to obviously leverage uh, TECRA 118 and APL to actually put the front on it that people are going to absolutely love, but then build on with some of our other partners to find the global financial supermarket is, is probably the most significant thing that we're going to be doing. And also leverage and provide, you know, excellence in private banking, advisor platforms and continue, continue our vision as we go. The international expansion is super exciting because we were building uh, with City in Asia anyway. And now this accelerates that build. So when people see this, they're all going to say, well, you truly have a global reach. And this is by combining, you know, Rob Havert's vision and my vision of putting these things together is really, really significant. And I, I think it'd be mega news for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mega news indeed. I think it's safe to say watch this space and I hope we can catch up further down the line and revisit this interview and hopefully face to face next time. Uh, let's hope so, Hannah. I mean, I do miss seeing you in person and actually being in my hometown of London. So next time. <laughs>